Are there clues in text telling us how they're organized? In this lesson, readers, you will learn to preview a text by searching for clues that tell us how it's organized. Let's review. In the past, you may have seen nonfiction text and learned about different ways they can be organized, like comparing and contrasting, time and order, and subheadings. These are just three ways that you can organize text, and knowing them ahead of time helps you understand where the text is going. A common mistake I see a lot of nonfiction readers do is that they don't skim the text for clues before reading. Readers take advantage of some time and roll through the text and start to look for some clues. We're going to look at the clues of how it's organized today. So here's our article, Backpedaling and Bicycle History, from the Washington Kids Post. Now, I'm going to look at one way that a nonfiction text can be organized. And I'm going to go to it right away because I see something that really pops out at me. Once I think, hmm, how's this organized? I see something come out. Do you? I see a lot of numbers. And this is going to let me know that this might be organized by date or time. Then as I read, I can just fill out the timeline. Start to look at a few of those dates. I see the 18th century come up when the pedals came on the front wheel. Great, so I'm going to write that date down so I don't forget. Oh, and there's 1819 when the first bicycle shop came out. I'm going to write that one down. Oh, and there's 1900 a little bit later. I'm going to write that one down. The three of those together help me understand as I'm reading that this text is organized by time. As I go through it, I can keep adding to it and see how things have changed with the bicycle over time. See if you can tell all of the steps that I did in figuring that out. First, I skimmed the text. I looked over it and looked for key things like dates in this instance. You can also look for other things in other lessons, like compare and contrast and subheadings. Then I look for the keywords, such as dates. I saw 18th century, 1819, and 1900, just in that example. Once I wrote it down, I could think to myself, how does this information in the text look like it's organized? Now I'm prepared to keep reading, knowing that this text is probably going to keep telling me more about the timeline of the bicycle. In this lesson, readers, you've learned how to preview a text by searching for clues that tell how it's organized.